Today I am flying from Vienna to Dubrovnik in Croatia. The flight in was so beautiful and I was so excited to finally see the sun. I got into the airport around 3.30 p.m. I had read before that taking the shuttle bus is the best way to get into town. There was a booth right at the airport exit where you could buy tickets that cost 55 kuna, which is about 7 euros for a one-way ticket and it takes you right into town. The views into town were so beautiful and it was a pretty nice bus and all around pleasant trip. I got off at the first stop which is right by the old town entrance and it took me about 10 minutes to walk to my hotel. I found it pretty easily and the hotel employee saw me walk by looking at my phone and asked if I was Katrina. She took me right into the hotel and it was a very nice room. Something to note about staying in the old town is that a lot of it is on a hill and you will have to walk up a lot of stairs to get to some of the hotels. Walking up the stairs to explore is one thing, but carrying luggage up and down stairs is another. Once I showered and settled into my place, I decided to set out. I went and wandered around a bit and started walking away from the old town up a hill for a while before I started wondering why I was doing that. So I went back down to the old town to find food. a pizza place that looked good for people watching but wasn't in the super crowded area. I got this delicious pizza and a beer. It was super nice until the wind picked up and it started raining so I got the other half of my pizza to go and went to my room to put it in the fridge. I had a quick bathroom break, got my umbrella and went out to wander around again. I was craving ice cream so I found a gelato place and ate another ice cream in the rain. I hiked up the stairs on either side of the town and wandered around until it started raining much harder. Then I went back to my room and did some research for the next day and had a nice relaxing night in. I'm in Dubrovnik for a bachelorette party for my friend who lives in London so I thought it would be nice to have a little solo night before that. The next morning, I woke up bright and early, wanting to do a few touristy things before the party weekend began. I had been to Dubrovnik before in 2013, but it was a while ago and I wanted to see some things again. I went to the city walls first thing in the morning when they opened at 8am. This was a little more expensive as it cost 250 kuna, which is around 33 euros. It was definitely worth doing even though I had done it before and doing it first thing in the morning was so peaceful. It was only me and a few other people on the wall until I got near the end. The town is so beautiful as well. I stopped and got a coffee at one of the cafes along the walls and looked at the ocean. Again, it was so peaceful and the view was so amazing. I carried on along the wall, taking way too many videos and photos. Brovnik is one of the prettiest cities I've ever been to. The castle with the orange roof and the blue ocean is, it's just all so nice.
and there were a lot more people so I would definitely recommend going right when the walls open though I heard the evening at sunset is also a good time to visit them. After I was done at the walls I headed back to my hotel room to move my stuff from my room into the storage. I had a walking tour booked for 10 a.m. so I grabbed some food and water and ran off to start the tour. The tour was really well done and it was really interesting to learn about the city again as I'd already been there, though it was nine years ago. The guide informed us that if we had the city walls ticket we could also use it to go up to this fort as well. So once the tour was done, I decided to walk up the hill and see it. I didn't stay for too long as the wind was super strong. I was wearing a skirt, but the wind kept blowing up the skirt bit and it wasn't the most fun. So I headed down and as I did, I got a text from my friend letting me know that she had arrived at the airport. So I headed back to meet her. By this time, a couple of cruise ships had shown up in town and everything had gotten so busy. I went back to the hotel to grab my stuff and headed out of the city walls to grab an Uber to the villa we would be staying at for the weekend. The place was a bit out of town, but it was so nice. Truly the nicest place I've ever stayed. My friend arrived shortly after and the rest of the girls arrived around 5 p.m. that night. So we just had a little pool day, the two of us, until they arrived. We had so many activities planned for that weekend, including a wine tour and a boating trip to visit the Blue Caves. We also went to some amazing restaurants and had a night out at the Castle Club Revelin, which was so fun even though I am too old for clubbing. Overall, it was such a nice trip, and I'm glad I was able to get in this extra day alone to explore the town a bit before a fun-filled weekend. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video and coming along to Dubrovnik with me. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.